here to make, put our history, to, 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 to put, put in pictures of our history. Photography is so important to telling stories about history. And we in South Carolina formerly have not been known for involvement in the American Civil Rights Movement and the progress that took place, bringing down the barriers to segregation. But in South Carolina, we have so many untold stories that are yet to uh, be known. And one of the ways um, to save these stories, these stories of sacrifice, these stories of overcoming, is to have a museum like we are developing here in Orangeburg. And this is little Harry Briggs here in the tree. And this is the automobile, of course, that he used to um, begin um, leave the state of South Carolina. We started in 2019 and now here in 2023 have had about 25,000 visitors who, I must say, have come out of their way to a residential area to see a museum we have developed. In a year and a half, we hope to have a new museum in Orangeburg located on the railroad corner in downtown Orangeburg. I don't have my glasses on yet to put through. And again, a camera back here, the, um, the light. And with this method, um, again, as quickly as we can slide this through, we can actually take a photograph with the film toaster. We had gone to um, the lower part of the state to photograph an assignment for Jet Magazine. And on the way back, um, we got thirsty, uh, wanted some water. Uh, bottles of water were not really regularly available um, in um, stores. Um, so this water fountain was um, at a service station and I got out, uh, took a drink of the water. My friend who accompanied me, Rendell Hopper, photographed me and of course um, he also got out and uh, took a drink out of the fountain and I photographed him. However, um, we are anticipating moving into a larger museum. This is one of the conceptual designs. It may change a lot in square footage, but hopefully between 10,000 and 14,000 square feet to be built here in Orangeburg at the railroad corner. And I was not welcome as an African-American youth and as a photographer in the state newspaper, but I could go upstairs where the uh, Associated Press uh, used uh, many of my photographs uh, during the 1960s. We boycott those merchants who were so this was a new strategy or a tool to use to fight against segregation.